Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Gonzo Ewok channel with me, Gonzo, and my colleague, Ewok. And today we're going to jump straight back into Ewok's playthrough of FTL. Third, uh, third video, is it? I think it is, aye. Third video of the Lonely Bird. So from what I remember, I missed the first uh, first part of this episode, but I was here for um, for the last one, and um, we're making some really good progress. You've got um, quite a, a beasty little ship going on. I here. have. Um, we'll have a quick look at the ship for anyone who's joining part way through. There's my weapons, halberd beam flak and chain laser. I've got the Leto missile, but I can't afford power at the moment without turning something else off. We've got cloaks. We just picked up a cloaking right. device. Um, and we also picked up ba -ba -ba -ba, stealth weapons. Aye. And we've got a Zoltan shield with three layers of regular shield behind it. We're doing pretty damn good. Cool. And I should just point out as well, it's been said in, um, in some of our previous videos as well, but... You know, if you haven't seen any of the uh, the first two parts of this episode, don't be an imbecile. Go back and watch part one and part two first. You're joining where, literally as you can see there from the, uh, the from the halfway map. point. Yeah, we're, we're now in the uh, the closing straights, really. I've been advised to go mantis control. Which idiot said that? Um, Mr. Kirby. Right, Kirby. What are you thinking? He said go uh, mantis sector because you've got reinforced doors and you can just suffocate out anyone who tries to board your ship. I mean, that's all fine and well for him to say from the comfort of his armchair, isn't it? Would well, you like to read it? Because we've never been to Mantis territory. This is before. a very good point. I'll just have to scrub my eyes for a second, actually. I think I've still got to sleep in uh, my eyes, even though, well, it's well on through the day. It could be the fact that you've never changed your one-day contact lenses in three years. I changed I changed them a good three months ago. I three months know. ago. Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Right. Um, you've entered a poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. Ensure your whole plating's up to scratch and you have enough fuel in your tank to make it through. And big doors. Right. Okay, distress signal? Yeah, why not? I mean, it'll be full of mantises. Once you arrive at the location of the distress beacon, a civilian ship hails you. Thanks for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Could you lead us there? Absolutely, I'll lead them to their destination. It's an NG ship, isn't it? It's an NG ship, yes. They're paying us 25 scrap as a down payment. Sweet. Alright, give us something good when we'll get there, then. That's, That's not far too. away. Uh, we'll hit this one. Aye. It doesn't yeah. seem like a great sector for exploration. We'll have to look at the map a bit properly next time. Aye. There's nothing, nothing here, there. so let's take a proper look at the map and think how we're going to do this. I might even... No, it makes sense to hit the around. quest first, and then I can loop around a bit if needs be. Aye. Sort of jump a bit here, there, and everywhere. Maybe, jump. Maybe if I get to the quest and I've got time, jump back here and then bounce around. But uh, we'll go there first. Yeah, makes sense. It's got a connection point of the quest, and we don't want to skip too far ahead. Nothing there, Christ. I know the uh, it's it's the F word there. I mean, I don't mind a little bit of swearing, but it's a bit it's a bit early in the video for that. <laughs> I know how I'm going to start the next introduction. Then the ship you were escorting, thanks. Yeah, I think we could have made, we couldn't have made it without your help. I'll let my friends patch up some of your hull and show you the ways. Well, hull. Well, hull's fine, and we've got no cash. We've just jumped three sectors for nothing. They do have another halberd beam. Oh no, that's me selling. Yeah. They've got drones and they've got crew. Burst laser 3 is nice. It's yeah, expensive, it's, like. it's, we can't afford it. Let's buy some fuel. <laughs> Nothing worth selling. Why can't we turn on them and get nasty? Well, this has been They've wasted useless our time. so far. We're halfway through the bloody sector, we haven't even had a fight. Ah, that looks as though it's about that's to That's better. Okay, we've got two Magnus and an NG on there. Yeah. Well, I'm not reading that out. It's just a one sentence. One also, way. bear in mind they can't uh, they can't board us until our Zoltan shield goes down. It's a good point. If that's the case, um, taking out the teleporter seems very clever. Smack the teleporter with your flak. Or you can come across shields, doors, and teleporters there. I suppose we are halberd. I'm sure it can. Uh, I'm sure it can stretch that far. It's got to be able to. One more go. Let's see. All right on the cusp. Nice. There we go. See that ought to do it. Yeah, we'll not be uh, having a good time now. <laughs> no, they seem to be panicking, but probably should have maybe thought about their weapons rather than their teleporter. But nah, I wouldn't worry that much. They've got a beam. We've got one of the uh, the little double laser things. Nah, there's not much they're gonna do. Don't really fancy their chances much, if I'm honest. No, they're pretty much dead now. Yeah. That's the way you take care of Mantis. All right, and this was a good idea. 41 scrap, couple of you. Um, well, we've had bad luck just because we've 
the hardly hit or nothing, but that's the way the cookie crumbles, it is. as they say. <sighs> Another repair station. Another store. We've so got we've a, lot of fight a little, little bit of scrap. scrap. Got the score. Got the fuel. Now to you. Identifying a mantis trading post uh, ahead. You signal them um, so your approach won't be taken as a threat. Leader hails you. You have scrap quickly. Come dock before the warrior see you. Right. An explosive replicator. Oh, I get a. No, I couldn't get a teleporter, could I? I afford a clone bay, but that would replace the medical system. So yeah. Probably not wise. Um, some drones. It's not much use. Fuck, fire, beam. Fire beam, ooh. Trip out the Leto. Get rid of the Leto. For like a small them? bomb. Um, it's tempted. I do like the old small bombs. The small bomb will avoid uh, sort of drones. Mm -hmm. That's Defense true. Drones. Just teleport straight on board. Is it worth selling? Ah, uh, what the hell. Done it now. I was uh, thinking potentially you could have went beam heavy with a fire beam. Really yeah, I was thinking up. that. I was thinking the fire beam could be interesting. Aye. Uh, oh, don't know. What the hair? Alright, so suppose we need to get an extra um, extra bit of power into the reactor there as well. And we need the oh bomb. no, it's the sun, it's the sun. Right, there we go. The Mantis, they're having a challenge. They want to get deep fried and crispy and take her out. Okay, we have to try and take them out as quickly as possible. We're not ideal for door placement when it comes to... Aye, fires. Fires indeed. Alright, get we charged up. I think it's the same ship as last time, so same ammo. It took them out fairly quick last time. Right on the cusp. Nice. So the shields are completely down. Yeah. Well, we should be alright. Should get them before the air. Well, we'll still probably get hit by the sun while we're charging. Yeah, yeah. here it comes. Oh. Um, yeah, we've lost the Zolt and shield as well. Right, so hit them. They're dead though. Yeah. They're, they're dead finished. now. Well, hit them all the same. Right. That's not too bad, you know, all things considered. Yeah, that went pretty well. 42 scrap, some fuel. Oh no, we just gotta <laughs> let the engines charge up so we can get out of here. Get rid of that fire. There we go, that'll do it nicely. Oh, I, knew it would I knew it would end up causing more damage. That's the right. clogging device as well. Let's get the MG in there to fix it up. And get ready to jump. I'll jump just before the next burst. Ah, uh, that's pretty wise. Oh, it's a store. Well, we don't have to worry so much about it. I haven't really got much of an option. Have we, have, we? we haven't really maximised our choice in terms of no, it's moving been through the sector. Poor. Struggling Mantis Cargo. Um, ship heads for the node raises from the last two shields. I should actually bother it and see it. We're playing uh, FTL goes drunk. Um, as you see, that teleporter would be nice. We're only seven away from it, but we ain't got nothing to sell. Fix that tiny bit of damage. What's on page two? Weapon pre ignite. I like see, we can't afford any of that. Nah, I like the pre ignite. Oh, well, um, it's not that we can't afford it, it's just that we'd have to get rid of the Zolt and Shield, the Stealth Weapons, or the Scrap Recovery Arm, and they're all pretty awesome. Aye. Uh, small Bomb, Charge, Breach Missile. Mm. See, if, if only we had the extra seven, we could have got that, but. I love the pre igniter. For those who haven't used it, it means that you start combat with your weapons That's charged fully and charged ready to go. System. Uh, it's so when, pretty uh, boss. when a lot of combats can go up against them. Um, you know, up against your first uh, first salvo comes in handy. What we've got here then? Happened upon the remains of the space station. It's been mostly picked clean, but there appears to be a few materials that will aid you in your mission. Three given, sorry, the missiles. Scrap. Uh, given that a lot of battles are won or lost on the first uh, the volley. salvo, that's what I was just, yeah, right, just saying. Aye. Especially when you've got a cloaking device, because then you can hit them, and then, and then even if you don't take their weapons out, you can hide from their immediate, uh, ah, it's a immediate response. One-two punch. Um, we can spend some of this scrap. Because I think we're tricked out as much as we need to be. We need to get the cloak up before we get to the end. 125 will give her um, the extra weapon. I bring the small bomb online, which gives me another offensive option there. Nice. So I now focus on the uh, the cloak, and I think. So abandoned or another mantis controlled? We got off really light with that mantis sec there. It's making us feel a bit cocky and making us think we could maybe do another one. All right, let's do another one. The abandoned, because, we've already done an abandoned sector run. That's where the the new guys. What, what's he called? The Lanius. The Lanius. That's where they're from. You went to a poorly charted area of space. It's yada, the same, yada, yada, same yada, as yada. the last one. Same as the last one. Ah, right. 
Okay, things seem a little bit more opened up here. There's a lot more spaces to uh, to jump around. Your ship is healed. This is not meant to message resist not take over. It's pointless. Prepare to die. It appears the rebel ships run by an AI. And it wants you to prepare to die, but it also wants to bugger off really quickly. Yeah, it ain't going to do much. Nah. It's a pretty weak ship compared to us. Um, it hasn't got the uh, capabilities of taking your weapons out. Um, I clocked a little too early there, but... Um, yeah, you're right, it doesn't have the capabilities of taking the shields well, on. There's nothing it, to worry just about. Just its engines. Just stop it running away so it can uh, recover its uh, tasty innards. Well, I missed, missed with pretty much everything there. All the flak missed. All the flak. There we go. That didn't miss. And there we go, that uh, damaged it across the board. Nothing no point really using to be worried about. Smack it again with a flak. Interestingly enough, it's got mind control. I like the Intruders idea. Intruders detected. Yeah, it's, um, oh, it's yes. taking over one of your, your Zoltans there and the weapons hold. I Why do I have two Zoltans in there? Oh, one of them walked in. Oh, well, I better kill it then. Um, I do like the idea of like that ship being an AI, but it can control the minds of other people. That is quite interesting. Aye, it's, it's what's, interesting what's controlling story. them? Aye. I'll, I'll repair these. Uh, I'll repair. Um, heal. It shows what you think your crew when you refer to it as repairing them rather than healing their wounds. Re let's repair the crew. Repair the crew. Well, stitch up them holes. They and are send merely them back tools. To that pit. Oh nice. yes, I've got an extra guy in there for the the Aye, power, the didn't I? A sip of the coffee. Right, onwards and upwards. Very few mantis in the. Oh, there we go. For once, you see the mantis before they see you. Well, we've got the cloak, and I've just got a horrible feeling if we cloak, though, the little crabby ship will disappear. Let's try it anyway. It's a blue option. Aye. Cloak and shut down on a sense. Oh, that's fire. crap. Right, fire. <laughs> yeah, I thought that would happen, but I wanted. I, I didn't want yeah, to take the risk. Yeah, it could have been that... like you catch them yeah. on the or follow them somewhere. I didn't want to take the risk that we'd lose on some sort of event. Yeah, blue options usually always give you something decent. Oh, here's another one. You arrive at the distress beacon near a small asteroid belt and find a ship with the pirate markings partially crushed between them, between two large rocks. It must have been mining illegally the belt without proper equipment. Now I'm even uh, trying to read the words backwards. Right. What does that mean to read? Are you having trouble? No, I'll manage. I'll manage. It's just it's been a hectic day. Right. No, I think we should um, use the beam weapon. We've had this. We've had this encounter before. There um, we go. Yep. Decent bit of scrap. Cut them out. Off they go. Let us upgrade the cloaking device. Aye, uh, it makes sense. The sooner we've done that, the better. I'd rather have a fully upgraded cloak than three layers of shields, to be perfectly honest. Mm. Well, we can have both soon enough if we keep getting the scrap. We can go there. Really maximise things. It's on the cusp, but I didn't say it was about to fall into the hands of the rebels. You arrived just in time to see an unusually well-armed energy ship destroying a small pirate craft. Maybe that one that we just freed. The teleporter signals detected intruder on deck. <sighs> ah. Ah, here we go then. A young man is in a charred uniform is teleported onto the deck. He begs for sanctuary from the NG and offers to serve in exchange for your protection. The NG have already traced the teleporter signal and are offering a deal in exchange for the prisoner. Last time I had this encounter in a previous video, um, I, I agreed to sign up to the Mantis and then he attacked us. Okay. Um, um, I'm going to side with him anyway in the hope that we get another Mantis crew member because... A bounty, yeah, but we get to destroy the ship anyway, presumably, so um, we'll get cash anyway. And then we've got a mantis, which is always handy when you're boarded. It was a trap, he sabotaged my hull. That's what he did to me as well, little turncoat. Right, kick the hell out of that ship. Okay, they've hurt me, they've hurt me quite badly. We'll get fixed up. We shall manage, don't you worry. Hang on, what did they just shoot? Matter. That's fine. Iron. Fine. A heavy laser coming in. Again, I don't think they've got enough to take we um, take we're down here. Yeah, I'm, I don't feel too threatened by them. No, got a couple of defense drones coming in there. Um, so what are they firing? They're firing a a laser, um, a heavy laser, and an ion weapon. Now there's nothing they can really do. Uh, I'm, we've got plenty of missiles, so I'm going to use one to damage them shields. Cool. And that doesn't maximise damage, but it maximises system damage, and I yeah, think that's, uh, that's the way to do useful it. in itself. They exactly. can't take our shields down. Keep them on the back foot. There we go. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be them. 
great maximise damage with this bad boy. I'd probably go across to the drones. Oh well. Uh, the, the drones aren't a problem. <laughs> 54 scrap, 3 fuel, drone pot. Not bad. Took um, a little bit of damage, but nothing outrageous. Return crew to say I must have yeah. his position saves. Uh, yes. uh, where does he live? He lives in the oxygen room, Aye. for some reason. Slugs like oxygen. Station saves, 100 scrap. Fire, he wouldn't do it. There we go, nice. We've said there you go a lot. I know we do tend to say that a lot in my videos on uh, reflection, but we've said it a lot so far. There you go. There you go. Mm. There's a white thing behind you. A pulsing star. I believe it knocks out some of your systems at random. All right, well, we'll deal with that when we come to it. Yeah, it knocks out their systems as well. Okay, they have got a, an attack drone. we have got a defense drone. We've got a missile. We've yeah, I'll, a, I'll dodge the missile. That's fine. All right. Ion pulse imminent. Right, let's... Three layers of shields, so getting them down is going to be handy. Oh, it's certainly handy if the Iron Pulse uh, whacks Does the them. job for It's uh, really damaged ours as well, but... Yeah, but we're all good. Yeah, I'm not fancying that. They chances. are proper crippled. Yep. In fact, let's just hit them with everything as soon as it comes back online. Just to keep them proper crippled. Go and small bomb in the, uh, in the weapons room. Oh, no, I'm not going to small bomb them. Oh, hang on. Uh, don't like that. It's trying to Bit escape. too late for that, pal. Take everything we have and let's both forget this happened. We will not accept surrender. And we will kill them right now. Oh, we took Oof. damage. Oh, Sons of guns. took damage. 60 scrap missile drone part. 60 scrap's not bad, mate. I can't believe I took damage. I feel... Uh, Embarrassed. I mean, it's far from ideal. The uh, the iron pulse going off. Yeah, it's it's not great. It's coming up again. Oh, it'll keep going, but it's not going to do any damage now. Wouldn't it be terrible if it just um, unendingly kept hitting your engines, <laughs> and stopped you getting away forever, stuck around this uh, stupid white planet? It's getting quicker, isn't it? I don't know, I think, is it not at random? Because the, the first and the second one, or the last couple that happened, seem to come right on top of each other. Right, let's get everything back up and online. Ah, and then get the hell out of here. Right, one place to go. Whew. Nothing here. Right, let's check the ship out. We're going to need a fair bit more before we can get the next couple of layers of shields. Mm-hmm. Uh, doors are pretty good. Don't need anything else in terms of sensors because we've got spare crew just lying around. Yeah. We've got uh, crew that we're going to be loading into missile pods and firing at the enemy the way we're going. Um, what about um, putting up the engines, potentially? Yeah, I'm thinking that, but maybe the shields first. All right. I mean, it'll certainly it'll help as well for, um, for incoming missile fire. It's always useful to do. Oh, no. Another sun. Oh, and intruders on board as well. And it's just intruders on board. There's nothing else. Right, um, we've got the reinforced doors, just, um, you could just open the, um, open the outside doors there. Yeah, I could do that, that would be, I mean, that that would would be, be more than helpful. Yeah. I mean, they're going to get through. I mean, that'll do the trick. It would probably be quicker to go in there and attack them, just thinking because with the, uh, the sun being in the background there, you don't really want this encounter to go on for too long, because that's just more fires. Yeah. Um, so I'm not a big fan of them attacking the oxygen with the doors open either. Or they're attacking doors and oxygen. Which is uh, far from ideal. I'm not too fussed if they damage the doors. Oh, what do they have to go and do that for? We don't have any more Mantises, do we? It's just that one guy, Hadriel. Yeah, he's the only guy we've Cadril. got. I, I don't feel like I'm doing this very well. Um, your Mantis seems to be on fire. You need the um, medic room turned on as well. You'll manage, bud. Don't worry. I'll just keep cycling people. I'd probably I retreat back into the... Uh, 
They won't follow. I mean, they... That's the problem. Gets. Well, wasn't uh, wasn't the best, but we came through that one uh, fairly well. Wasn't terrible. Right, I let. I oh. can't get out of here. Oh, that's because I've got nobody piloting. Who's the pilot? You get in there and drive. Shall be. Or Stelly. Oh, I hate sunrooms. Repair the doors. I can't. I can't open the doors. If only we had a rock. We'll get them fixed up fairly quick. There should be all right. Taking some damage, which isn't ideal. Yeah, taking quite a bit of damage. And the thing is, and the worst part with these intruder things is you never get anything for them. You just get a, a huge amount of damage for no reason. Right, fires us out. No one coming in. Hi, get the hell out of here. It's so, another sun. I am so sorry about that. That was just awful. Manta ship engaging a civilian hill as he sparks fly about his cockpit as he yells, Stay at this human, else you're next. Aid the civilian ship. Manta says, I'm coming. Pause. Frantic pause. Right. First, everyone start heading back to your safe positions. That's except you, you get there, and you get there, because I want them repaired and quick sharp. Nice. Okay. That's uh, getting fixed up. Maybe put um, where shields need another layer, um, another layer in them. Right, weapons is charged. Yes, safe positions. Um, and the shield is there. Smack them. And again, I'd come in and uh, make sure the teleporter is on the list. I'm more concerned about their weapons. If you keep damaging them enough, I suppose they'll either die first or they'll be too busy trying to fix their ship up than uh, coming to take yours. Just three mantises, you don't want them sniffing around you. Oh well, that'll do it. That'll do it. Ship's back on lane. 56 scrap, 3 fuel, missile, and five they, points they give us some repair. Fantastic. Cheers. Oh, right, let's get some of these people healed up. Take a breather. That's a, an intense couple of little jumps that you've had. Uh, it was just that, yourself. It was Fight just your, the, your the flames. Place. Horrible, horrible, horrible flames. nightmarish flames. Phew. There we are. Right. Everyone, back to your posts. Okay, looking alright. Right, so it's going to be 180 for the shields, plus 60 for power. 240. Need another 93. Pretty good math. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> hey, I passed basic arithmetic. <laughs> oh, coffee. That was stressful. Right, there's nothing on fire in the background. Nothing here at all, in fact. Got time, time to jump two. up that. So, yeah, it's going to be that one. It feels like this one's flown by. It certainly has. I suppose the first sector had nothing in it. Oh. You're joking. Yeah, well, who cares about these guys? Because these guys. There's a couple of mantises on board. Oh, in fact, they're all mantises. This is why mantis sectors are bad. No, I don't want to do that. Fancy our slugs chances. We'll eat them for breakfast. Wonder why they're attacking the sensors. Because they don't want me to see where they are. I'll lose. I'll get a bit of ship damage, but nothing. I'm overly concerned about ah, as long as they right suffocate there. the death. Exactly. Yeah, they're suffocating now. Suffocating, suffocating like quick. guns. Get out. They're hitting the doors. They're going to go for the doors. If they're destroying the doors, you're in trouble. Somewhat in trouble. Yeah, I'm already a dangerous game. I'm preempting the next move. Whoa! Yeah, this isn't going well, mate. What are you done? It's fine. You're being smarmy. The doors is knackered. We've taken the oxygen out. There's no oxygen in the ship. This is not going well. 
It's fine. They are a wrecking crew, a little two man wrecking crew on the ship. Brace for dead. <laughs> Get the medical bit. That was probably some of the worst <laughs> things that I've ever seen. Why did we even do that? That was just like, just thrown the game out the window. You've been doing so Kirby well. Kirby told me that the bloody doors would be enough to hold them and they'd die. But no, they just smashed through all the bloody doors. Right, okay, let's just look at the evidence. Why don't you guys go across to that Mantis sector? Why don't you just use the doors to try and beat Mantises with? You see, if you put all this together, you can see it's painting... A rather dubious picture here. To that's, be fair, if it, wasn't, if it wasn't for the fact it was an event, we never would have got boarded in the first place. But the Zolt and Shield, the cloak and device, the weapons that, that are on this ship, it's all fine. Took a bit of damage. It's Aye, crew sealed. Nothing to go crying about. Bodies can be repaired. Uh, let's have one last encounter before we go. Alright. Spot a small rebel ship nearby. It seems to have been refitted for transport rather than combat. Juicy. It does not seem to want to engage you and your ship. Demand surrender. Give us all your goods. They're trying to escape. Thought they might do that. Right. So we're going to have to focus on a combination of shields and engines. We've got a little beam drone there which is doing uh, two ear yeah, shields every time it hits. It's not great. Oh dear. Knock the med bay out. Not a big deal. Oof. My medicine. You can get your small, uh, your small bomb up online. You so desire. It's a way to do it. Yep, that'll cripple them. Yep. FTL delayed. Let them think about what they've done. Flax up. Chains are coming up. Bombs are up. Right. Boot them again. That was quite a bit of damage all coming in one nasty little package. That'll do it. Yep. Sweet. See what they've got. Combat drone and 61 scrap. Scraps handy. Be able to sell that at some point. Bam, bam, bam. Um, we'll have to turn the oxygen off. <laughs> <laughs> well, I suppose you could knock off the small bomb if needs be. There we go. That's pretty not a good. Bad little uh, wait around off this episode. All right, NG home worlds are NG control. It's got to be the NG home worlds. We'll nip there before moving on. Yeah, it's been a fairly short one, this one. You've uh, flew through it just with that uh, first second, not having much in. It has, so uh, we've arrived in NG space. Uh, Fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. And if you want to see how we fare on in NG space, I guess you're just going to have to tune in next week for the final part of this. We do normally do two episodes at a t uh, two seconds at a time. It normally lasts a bit longer than this. Yeah, it's usually about half hour, I think. Maybe sometimes a bit longer. But no, I think this has been about half hour. It's normally a little bit longer. Mm -hmm. But in any case, we have done two sectors. We are two th uh, two thirds. No, we are not. We are three quarters of the way through this particular episode. Um, I hope everyone's enjoyed it. I'm still feeling pretty confident about it, even though there were a couple of hairy moments back there. I I, I think what's most important is I enjoyed it. That's all I can say. Well, good for you, matey. And if anyone watching enjoyed it, please join us next week for the concluding part. Don't forget to check out all our other videos, which you'll be able to see coming up in a matter of moments. Cheerio!